I know that you've all been there before at a networking event at some venue where you have that one a-hole that goes up to everyone and just hands them their business card and says, hey, if you ever need this, contact me. And you're never gonna remember that person again except for the most aggravating experience you've ever had. You wanna know why networking is important? It's because you're building real relationships. How do you make a friend? How do you build a bond? You just get a good vibe with someone and you truly care about them, right? Like that's the secret. Honestly, so much simpler than you think. That right there is what translates to success, what translates to a long-term relationship. Some of the best clients we have at Chop Dog today are from relationships that I formed just because I truly liked the person and wanted to help. And indirectly, what happened, somehow I gave you so much value, you felt humbled enough to introduce me to someone amazing that becomes a client of mine. When I get back today, I'm writing a proposal to someone that was introduced to me by a good friend of mine I have known for years and just have helped their business. That's how relationships work. So when you start networking, which you should be doing already, you need to go into it truly reaching out to people and trying to build great relationships and just understanding how can I help you. And it can be as simple as you helping them yourself. It can be, hey, let me point you to someone who I know that can help solve your problem. You know, my, my marketing director, Mason, literally has to sit down and go through every single person I've ever spoke to and figure out, hey, it's been a while since you talked to this individual. Let's reach out and see how we can help. Let's just touch base, see how their life's doing, how their family's doing, how their business is doing. And those little things, those genuine, truly caring, will translate later on to opportunities with them, opportunities in their network, or you just being remembered. Ultimately, you're in this for your own legacy. 20, 30 years from now, do you want to be remembered as the person who reached out, gave me a card to everyone, just trying to get the quick buck? Or the person who actually contributed and gave real value? It's important for me to always know I am not some relationship expert. I don't know how to go and like break awkward silence or do the best intro. I just know what works for me is just being a genuine, hopefully good person. I'm like, hey, it's a cool shirt. Or, Whoa, where'd you get that watch from? Or, hey, you look familiar. Have I seen you around before? Like, what comes natural to me is really how you should start any form of relationship, any form of conversation that can relate to a relationship. And you no, know, the reality is, if you're going to a networking event, you're not going to walk away with 30 great relationships, right? But you go to a networking event and hustling your butt off every single week, you might get one or two a week or one or two a month, and that's where it will translate long-term success. So it's not about, hey, am I gonna hit a home run at this at-bat? It's about how many at-bats can I get? Because that's gonna increase my chance of getting a home run.